This next item is probably one of my most dream items that I have ever found thrifting. We're going on a thrifting expedition in Austin, Texas. We're gonna check out some new thrift stores that I have not been to yet. And between this place called Hope City Thrift and this place called Austin Pets Alive, and both of them have been recommended by you guys, I really can't wait because I feel like it's been a while since I've gone to somewhere other than like a Savers or a Goodwill. I've got my reusable bag. I'm going with a nice little H-E-B moment, very Texan of me. I've got my hydro flask. The last thing I'm trying to decide is between shoes, which I know so it's like, oh, just pick a shoe, but I'm trying to decide, do I want style today or do I want comfort? I'm between this pair of sneakers from Vessi and this pair of booties, which are so freaking cool from the new Katy Perry collection. They actually sent me these. This isn't sponsored by them, but I, I kind of wanted to wear them today because they're so freaking cute. I don't know. I think I might go for comfort today. I think that's the move, but I want you guys to know that this this could have been the outfit. But seriously, thank you Katy Perry Collection and Katy Perry herself who hand packaged it. That didn't happen. Last thing, this is not at all thrifting related, but it's very cute and I wanted to show you. So last night my husband and I made gingerbread cookies and I wanted to show you the gingerbread cookies I decorated. Look at him. He is so cute. He's got a little vest. And then I also decorated this little gingerbread gal. She's adorable. And then I made a reindeer, which Look at how cute the nose turned out. I love him. He's seriously the cutest. I am very proud of my gingerbread accomplishments. Enough chit chat. Let's go thrifting. I'm excited. First off, we're at Family, what are we? Where are we? Hope Family Thrift Store. Never been here. I think one of you guys recommended this in my DMs and it also has really great reviews. So let's go see what's inside. a robe just like this a nice little waffle knit kind of thicker robe because right now all of my robes are kind of satiny and silky like this one so i'm definitely getting this first impressions of this thrift store is that it's amazing the selection's amazing the prices are so so good and everything is such amazing quality like everything looks pretty brand new i would say this is probably my favorite thrift store i've been to in austin there's so many goodies everywhere I have the worst luck trying to find a good pair of jeans at the thrift store, but look at this. They are high-waisted in a gorgeous darker denim wash and they look like they actually might fit me. Oh my gosh. I gotta say that that is the best thrift store that I have been to since being here in Austin. They had the kind of selection that like you would ideally like to find at a thrift store with a mix of like newer stuff and vintage or like older style pieces. And the thing that truly I think blew me away is the prices were phenomenal. Blouses were like $4.50. Pants were anywhere from three to $8. Like truly incredible thrift prices. I love going to little places like this, partially because I love supporting small businesses. Also because their pricing is so fair and the people are always so nice. And this place in particular, I wanted to share. 
they support a charity called ADR, which is the Austin Disaster Relief. So people who have had their home destroyed from a natural disaster, such as a hurricane or a fire or something like that, a good amount of their proceeds goes towards helping those people and people in need can come in and get what they need at no cost. The gal at the cash register was telling me about how like they love for people to come and just like spend money there because it directly just helps people and they have a lot of they have a lot of inventory that they need they need bought up so just saying got a collection of sunglasses here <laughs> so now i think because we're already down here we're gonna oh i don't want to wear these hold up let's switch it up switch it up to my tried and true these guys i will link them they're from amazon they're from this brand called sojo's linking them below because these are my favorite. I'm gonna go thrifting at another place I've been wanting to go to that so many of you guys were like, you have to go here. It is my favorite store. It is so good. And that is the Austin Pets Alive. And I think I might stop and grab some food because I forgot to eat breakfast this morning. And I'm very hungry. <laughs> and I definitely could use a little pick me up. So I'll see if maybe there's like a Starbucks nearby and maybe I'll just get like a chocolate croissant and I don't know, coffee or something. I don't I don't know, but I definitely need something on my stomach because I started to have the shakes in the store and it was just all bad. workout gal and her hair is even like coming off. This is horrible. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. They have a really good vintage selection but nothing is like nothing's like vibing with me right now. So far I haven't found too much clothes wise but I did find ah, two super cute belts that have these like little center I don't know if I can show you. They have these fun little connecting points in between the, the belt fabric. So I thought those would be kind of like a cool pop of something. You guys, we have found a pair of Manola Blahniks. These are $100. They're in a very pretty cobalt blue shade. Kind of got a bit of a shine to them. So cool. Hi, update. I just left the Austin Pets Alive. 51st location. I thought I was, I, I didn't realize I mapped to the wrong one. So the one I wanted to go to was the location on Burnett. So now I'm heading there. It's seven minutes away. Um, and I think we're going to wrap up our thrifting there. So that'll be the last place we hit. We're going to put out the good thrift vibes and hope that we find some gems. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you guys how sweaty I am right now. It, oh, excuse me mouse and i know some of you guys are gonna be like take off your jacket just the outfit is not complete without the jacket it's just not i just realized i never went to starbucks earlier the distance between the austin pets alive on 51st and the hope family thrift store was only like two minutes so i didn't end up going i'm a mess selection definitely lean towards like newer style pieces so it's not quite the right fit not today but overall thrifting day was awesome I think this is probably my best thrifting day I have had in several months it was awesome so now we are gonna head home for a nice little thrift haul I 100% got something in my eye we are back home now it's been a day or two a couple days have passed, but we're here now. I am so excited to show you guys this haul because it is a good one. And I really cannot believe 
that I got all these pieces for just $50. This many pieces, this good of pieces. I am excited. Okay, diving right on in. We are gonna start with probably the trendiest item on the market right now. It's actually crazy how popular and trendy this item is, sweater vests. The sweater vest that I found is this one right here. It's from Mervyn's. And this is just like a little cute button up sweater vest. It definitely has the grandpa vibes. I really, really love it. I think it's gonna be fun. Next up, this piece. I am pretty sure I manifested this because this is actually something that morning I told my husband I wanted a waffle knit robe. And what do you know? A couple hours later, while I was thrifting, I found a gorgeous gray waffle knit robe. This one is originally from Target. It's from their like loungewear line called Gilly Gilligan and O'Malley. I've seen this before. I feel like I own a couple PJs from them from that line at Target. I'm so excited to use this because all of my robes are kind of that more like satiny, silky type of vibe, which, you know, it's nice, but you know, if it's it's cold. It's kind of wintry now. Austin, it's it's been raining. I woke up at six in the morning today and it was absolutely freezing in my bedroom, raining, thunderstorming, lightning, whenever it's chilly. I have a cozy robe, the end. Next up for $5, I got these, where's the front? What the heckle? I got these little Adidas shorts. I am always in the market for nice little um, athletics, sporty shorty shorts because these are the nicest things to throw on when you want to throw on sporty shorter shorts okay next 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 i'm so excited about this piece because there's a couple reasons first off it was a dollar 25 it was a dollar 25 so to find this cool t-shirt a black texas longhorns t-shirt is in a perfect faded black wash giving it that vintage vibe and look though it's probably not vintage probably just from some point in the 2000s, which I guess 2000 could now technically be considered vintage. Vintage in fashion is anything 20 years or older. So who knows if this 20 years or older, but I don't think it is. This is now my first official piece of Texas clothing, something Texas related, and I found it for $1.25. I'm really excited about it. Next up is another t-shirt I'm very excited about. This one I found at the last, of that, the, this one I found at the last thrift store. This tee says, making it up as I go. And I cannot tell you guys how soft this t-shirt is. When you put it on, it's kind of just like a hug from a nice piece of fabric. I like the sentiment and I like the way it's written. So making it up as I go, I feel like that's kind of my whole life because I think so much of life you cannot plan. You kind of just have to roll with the punches. And I kind of feel like this, this sentiment reflects that. And I feel like it's a nice reminder to me where during the times I'm very frustrated that things are not really going as I planned. It's okay because I'm making it up as I go. This next item is probably one of my most dream items that I have ever found thrifting. I have historically had the worst time thrifting jeans. I have only ever found one or two pairs of jeans that have like kind of worked, but also not. I've never found like the perfect pair of jeans thrifting until I did the other day for $4. This pair right here, these are originally from the brand St. John's Bay and you guys, St. John's Bay is one of my favorite brands to thrift. This pair of jeans is in a gorgeous dark wash shade. And again, they are just like the vintage pair of jeans of my dreams. They're high-waisted, they're flattering, they fit, they feel comfortable. They kind of like suck you in, but in a nice flattering way, not in like a can't breathe fashion type of way. I can't believe I found them. And for $4, these pants are a thrifted gem. And I am so excited to have found them, yay. Moving right along to this top. This top kind of gives me like classy soccer mom vibes. And that's honestly what I'm 100% here for. So this top is a black collared sleeveless button up top. This I feel like is a very popular style of top here in Texas because I have found more of these style tops thrifting than I ever have. And I love it so much because these style of tops are so my style and they're also just like very, very practical and I love them. Next up, we have another one of my dream finds. I have always wanted to find a very silky, satiny, very feminine, delicate slip dress slash nightgown. And I finally found it for, again, $4. And our last clothing piece is, it's a set, before we hop into our final few accessories, is this gorgeous, in beautiful quality, such like 
mint condition, this truly stunning top and bottom sage green set. And I am so in love with this. First off, the color, truly stunning. It is such a beautiful shade of green. The second thing is it's in gorgeous condition. It honestly looks like I bought this right off the rack of Allison Daly right there. I love that it's a set because you can wear them together. You can wear the pieces separately. I find that sets are just so versatile with a wardrobe. I feel like I have so many ideas on how to style this in a more modern and trendy stylish way that I think is going to be so cute and I can't wait to share it with you guys. And for our final few accessories to get us up to that $50 mark, we have got one purse and two belts. So first up, the two belts. The two belts are so, so cool. This one in my left is a snakeskin embossed belt. It features gold hardware in a very like Baroque kind of design. This one features silver hardware in a very uh, Emperor's New Groove kind of design, which I absolutely love. I think it's very fun. Kind of gives me like Knott's Berry farm vibes, like maybe like Montezuma's Revenge roller coaster ride. I feel like the architecture of that ride is the same design here on this belt. And I feel like that's kind of my favorite thing ever. And the final piece in this haul is this gorgeous purse. This purse has an adjustable strap. You can make it longer if you want it to be a nice longer shoulder bag. I didn't even know you could do all that when I bought it. I just bought it because I thought it was really pretty. And I also really love how many pockets there are. There's a zipper in the center and then there's a little spot for your cell phone and your pens and your doodads and your gadgets. And that brings us up to $50. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was such a fun video to do. My favorite piece for sure has to be these jeans because they are such a dream thrift find. And for $4, unparalleled, so amazing. But I would love to know what is your favorite find that I found today, comment it below. And also make sure to vote on the sweater vest trend because I wanna know where you guys stand. So comment all the things below. Let's chat, let's hang out. And now let's do the quote of the day. Today's quote reads, stop over analyzing every micro interaction and realize other people have moods and feelings that are not necessarily influenced by your presence. Truly, in the most literal sense, don't take things as personally. It's not always about you or to do with you. And that's not at all to sound rude or mean or harsh, but just in a way that you can kind of give yourself space to not feel like everything is your fault. Everything is on you and on your shoulders. Sometimes, most times, people are just going through their own thing. Think on that as we go into the week. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed, have those notifications on. If you wanna keep up with me throughout the week, definitely follow me on Instagram at Jessica Neistat. I'm always posting there, and that's officially it. Love you guys, see you soon. Bye guys!